Right now, NBC 26 Live at 10. Authorities in Manitowoc have identified a man involved in a standoff with authorities. Plus, as wildfires burn through parts of California, help is on the way. And members of the Northeast Wisconsin community making Christmas extra special for children. New information tonight in a Manitowoc standoff. Authorities have identified the man who they say barricaded himself in a basement just a week ago. Our Matt Jarko picks up the story from there. Inside this criminal complaint are allegations a man threatened two women with what they thought was a handgun. The complaint contains witness accounts of the incident. It accuses 48-year-old Brett Alger of entering a Manitowoc apartment where the mother of Alger's children lives. Witnesses who also live there told officers Alger got mad when some of the things he kept in the apartment had been moved. The complaint accuses Alger of sliding what looked like a handgun down the side of a woman's face. Another witness says she then texted police. She says Alger later pointed the gun at her pregnant stomach. The women were able to leave the home and officers arrived. Police say Alger barricaded himself in the basement. They ordered him out of the house and took Alger into custody. He's facing several misdemeanor charges and police say he has prior felony and misdemeanor warrants. Matt Jarko, NBC 26. And authorities are now investigating to determine whether they will pursue additional charges or not. In Sheboygan County, crews had to divert traffic on Highway 23 all due to a fire in the town of Greenbush. Authorities say it happened around 3 this morning when they got a call by the utility shed that caught fire on W9049 State Highway 23 just on the west side of the county. The Sheriff's Department says the shed was fully engulfed in flames when they got there. Also staying in Sheboygan County for the moment, authorities say six people are in the hospital after a multi-vehicle crash on the county's north central side. They say it happened after four in this afternoon yesterday on State Highway 57 at County Road A in the town of Rhine. Deputies say when they got there, four vehicles were involved. Fortunately, there were no life-threatening injuries. Well, the very cold start to our day. Meteorologist Matt Hoffman has a look at your first forecast. Matt. Hey Mo, yeah, pretty cold out there right now across northeast Wisconsin. In Green Bay, we're sitting at 15 degrees, but when you factor in a little bit of a breeze, we're not seeing much of a wind chill, so that's good news. The winds have diminished a little bit out there, but still pretty cold with temperatures in the teens throughout northeast Wisconsin. We're starting to see clouds go on the increase now across the area, so we shouldn't see temperatures drop all that much, maybe a degree or two. There is some snow off to the west, but a lot of this isn't reaching the ground, so a few flurries possible tonight, but that'll be about it. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy through the morning, turning partly cloudy in the afternoon. Highs will be warmer tomorrow, topping out near 30 degrees. We have snow in the forecast, though, to start off your Monday. We'll talk more about that and how much you can expect coming up in the full forecast, Mo. All right, Matt, thank you so much. President Donald Trump paid tribute to civil rights activists in Mississippi today. This was all part of the opening of the state's Civil Rights Museum in Jackson, but it was also met with some protests as, event, as the event was boycotted by some leaders from the African-American community, including civil rights leader and Georgia Congressman John Lewis, who said the president's presence was an insult to the people portrayed in the museum. President Trump didn't talk about the controversy, though, but he did speak about historical heroes. These museums are labors of love, love for Mississippi, love for your nation, love for God-given dignity written into every human soul. These buildings embody the hope that has lived in the hearts of every American for generations, the hope in a future that is more just and more free. And the president left before the public opening of the Civil Rights Museum and the Museum of Mississippi History, which are next door. The president is staying busy in the South as he held a campaign-style rally in Florida yesterday, showing his support for Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore. It was in Pensacola, which is about 25 miles from the Alabama border. Now, the White House says the rally wasn't officially on behalf of Roy Moore, but president, the president did fully endorse him. Trump did list off policies he likes about Moore, like his stance on illegal immigration and gun rights. We want people coming into our country who love our people, support our economy, and embrace our values. It's time to get our priorities straight. This guy's screaming, we want Roy Moore. He's right. Now, Moore has been accused by nine women of sexual misconduct. He's consistently denied those allegations. 
The U.S. Navy teaming up with California firefighters to battle a raging wildfire that ravaged San Diego County this week. The Navy dispatched two helicopters from the Naval Air Station Camp Pendleton, California, to help contain that Lilic fire. Naval officers say the choppers are especially equipped to perform aerial water drops. They say each bucket, though, holds about 420 gallons of water and does allow the aircraft to get water from the ocean if it needs to. The Department of Defense says 1,300 members of the California National Guard also have been asked to contain that fire as well. Covering the world now, Palestinian protesters clashed with Israeli forces in the West Bank today following President Trump's tr uh, decision to recognize Jerusalem as the Israel Israeli capital. In Bethlehem, Palestinians threw rocks at Israeli troops who fought back with tear gas and stun grenades. Today marks the third Palestinian day of rage following Trump's announcement. The president's decision drew criticism worldwide, even with allies, suggesting he is stirring conflict in an already hostile situation. And back here in Wisconsin now, Milwaukee Public Works Department investigating a KKK image allegedly found on a city contractor's lunch cooler. A DPW spokesperson says this picture that you see right here was posted on social media this afternoon. A cooler adorned with a Confederate flag and a Ku Klux Klan stickers. Now the person who sent it out claimed it belongs to a contractor working on a city project. Hemp advocates in Wisconsin say the state needs to get up to speed since it's been legalized. The Michael Fields Agriculture Institute says at one time there were a lot of hemp farms in the Badger State. They also say they're waiting for the state to make more regulations before expanding on the market. Now hemp has many uses like food, clothing and construction materials. Governor Walker signed a bill legalizing it last month. Well, still ahead on NBC 26 Live at 10, members of the Northeast Wisconsin community coming together to make Christmas extra special for children. But first, what's that weather going to look like for the rest of the weekend? Your forecast up next. And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. It was a cold one out there today. It wasn't so much the temperatures as it was those gusty winds out of the north and northwest. Highs today topping out in the middle to upper 20s, but wind chills were in the teens to single digits throughout much of the day. Let's check out those snowfall totals from overnight in case you're curious. Up towards Dora County picking up as much as three inches in Washington Island and Sister Bay. Ephraim picking up two inches, Peshtigo two inches and one and a half inches in Denmark. Green Bay officially at the airport 1.1 inches. Sheboygan just under an inch. Same in Nina. Oshkosh picking up seven tenths of an inch and about a half an inch in Wild Rose. Here's a look at current conditions in Green Bay. It's on the cold side, 15 degrees, southwest winds fairly light, so not much of a wind chill factor, so it probably doesn't feel as bad as it was earlier, but it still is rather cold out there, so bundle up if you're heading out and about or gonna be heading home soon. 14 degrees currently in Appleton, west southwest wind at seven miles per hour there. Yeah, it's cold, it feels like four degrees. So where we do have a little bit of a breeze, it does feel much colder. Temperatures in the teens across the area, 17 in Sister Bay, it's 13 degrees in Mantuac, 14 in Watoma, 17 degrees in Shano, and 15 degrees currently in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac. Wind speeds, fairly light, but where we do have a little bit of stronger breezes, wind chills are somewhat colder, quite a bit. Feels like 2 degrees only in Mantuac, 3 degrees in Sheboygan, and feels like 6 degrees in Sturgeon Bay. Wind chill forecasts will be in the single digits to lower teens through the rest of the night, but tomorrow, will be a milder day. Wind chills won't be as cold and temperatures won't be as cold either. We do have some warmer air off to the west. Not going to get to 40. I'm not going to see the 40s, but about 30 degrees, right around 30 degrees for highs tomorrow is a pretty good bet. We have a little clipper system that's going to be working on through tonight. Some snow across western parts of the state. This will track through overnight. A lot of this isn't really reaching the ground. But a few flurries are possible. Any accumulations would be fairly minor, maybe a dusting in a few spots, but that would be about it. Tomorrow's planner, mostly cloudy through the morning, a milder day, some breaks of sunshine through the afternoon, and then clouds will thicken up as we head through tomorrow night ahead of the next system that will have a better chance at bringing accumulating snow. Just going to be flurries for the most part overnight tonight. Mostly cloudy through a good chunk of the day tomorrow, some breaks of sun at times. There's the snow, though, that will move on in right in time for your morning commute on Monday. Give yourself a little bit of extra time. Right now, this is a fairly minor system, right around an inch as far as accumulation goes. Most of the snow will be through the morning hours on Monday, then tapering off 
in the afternoon. Snowfall amounts again right around an inch. We'll be watching this closely. I'll have an update for you tomorrow as well as we watch that system get closer. 12 degrees tonight for a low with a few flurries tomorrow. Highs up around 30, mostly cloudy, becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon for the Packers game tomorrow in Cleveland. Cloudy, blustery, right around 29 degrees at kickoff. Your extended forecast looking like this. That snow on Monday, minor accumulations there, but then turning much colder. Windy as well Tuesday, so if you thought today was cold, whew, Tuesday, awfully cold. I'm thinking tonight's kind of like stay in and get the fireplace going, just hang out. Yeah, not a bad idea. And the next sure. couple of days too, probably. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Matt. Well, still ahead on BC 26 Live at 10. Helping out those in need, Shopco is matching all toys for Todd's donations made to its Bay Park Square location. Thank you for staying with us. Today, Shopco and the Marines teamed up to help out Santa to fill the Christmas wish list for children in the area. It's all part of the annual Toys for Tots event. Shopco collected and matched toys that were donated. Organizers say they want to make sure no child in the community goes without a Christmas present. Every child deserves to have a happy holiday. And so supporting these programs and helping families in need is, is really the stuff that counts, especially during the season. And the campaign donates thousands of toys every year, but officials are hoping 2017 is the biggest event yet. The tree is lit and Lambeau Field is ready for the holiday season officially. Hundreds of people gathered outside the atrium tonight to see the annual tree lighting ceremony. It's part of the Festival of Lights celebration. Participants say it's a great way to get in the holiday spirit. It looks really neat and it's really fun so far. I'm looking forward to all the other stuff. It's just a good time to get together with friends and do some of the holiday things around the area. And NBC 26 was there as well. Well represented, our very own meteorologist Matt Hoffman serving as the MC of the event. Very cool stuff there. Well, coming up in sports, the Wisconsin Herd look for another win at home. Plus, UW Oshkosh battles with Mount 